Globally, there is a large number of open educational resources, or OER, that can be used for digital learning. OER are typically organized according to the curriculum of the country where the materials were produced. But when educators around the world need to use OER created elsewhere, aligning them to their own curricular standards can be time consuming and resource intensive. It was a very tedious task in terms of the amount of time uh, it took to go through each one of the objectives and try and find resources. So ideally, what is an easy way of, or an easier way of making sure that that's actually doable? To tackle challenges in this curricular alignment process, five organizations have joined forces with stakeholders and experts from around the globe, most recently leading to a hackathon focused on curriculum mapping at Google San Francisco office in October 2019. The goal is to start the process by taking two excerpts from a digitized curriculum document, judge how similar they are, and then use those judgments to improve a machine learning model's ability to make future matches. Instead of trying to do content alignment, can we find alignments, can we find matchings between curricula? And in this way, book align uh, thousands of nodes in one shot. So, how might we identify similarities between different countries' curricular standards? And how might we build a tool to facilitate this process? Collaboration and insight from potential beneficiaries is key. This is something that I feel would not be able to be done on a non-interdisciplinary level. I've met um, librarians with a focus on information science. I've met educators, ed tech leaders, individuals that are leading refugee camps in international crisis situations. However, in our context, uh, you'll understand that uh, lack of uh, uh, digital competencies or uh, skills uh, can pose a very great impediment uh, in the integration of uh, tech in education. They need a kind of a tool that uh, will help them to uh, utilize effectively uh, the resources at their disposal. So what's the end goal in bringing so many people together? If you think of the teachers, they, they don't have time to go through thousands of items. They have the knowledge, but not the time. Saving time with teachers is universal. This hackathon is significant as it advances work previously done. In this hackathon, a lot of progress has been made in the sense that there have been actual tools and prototypes and tangible things that really show that this whole venture is a possibility, which I find really exciting. This is something that is really happening. It's not all talk, it's action. We can make a difference in this space, and we're going to do it.